Hi, I'm Stephen Boyle, and this is the AP Net Solutions video tutorial of how to change text on your website. So, first off, double click on the icon with the uh, White House with the orange roof, and you'll come to the Property Uploader. So this is the Property Uploader. If you want to know more about this, um, we'll cover it in a different tutorial. Um, but to change the text, go to File, Website Pages. So, File, Website Pages. Once you've clicked on that, another window, uh, another window will open. Like so, you can move that up as well using your uh, holding down the left uh, mouse button the top bar and you make it larger again just hold down the left mouse button drag it down like so now what you'll see is uh, a web version of Microsoft Word so it's very uh, a lot simpler um, you've got the file and then save file button here so just select the uh, page you want to change as you can see you have a drop down of the page that you're able to change I'm just using my home page um, and as you can see that this text here, this area here, is the same as on my website. So I'm just going to click on my website, scroll down, there we go. This area here, this is the area that you can change. So below the title, so that's your title, and above your footer. Like so. So this, is, this area here is the changeable text. Like so. Now, if I go back, and for example, if I'm typing directly into the software, there's not really a problem. You just type it in, like so. And I'll just do one more line here, like so. So you've just seen I've just typed it in. And then to upload that, you just press Save File. And you go back to your site. And as you can see, it hasn't changed at the moment. You've still got the Wii and the Wii there. Um, so what it's doing at the moment is reading an a, a internet uh, temporary file, so it's actually reading an old file. So to refresh the page to see what current is currently on the uh, website, just press F5 on your keyboard. So it's at the top of the keyboard, slightly to the left, F5. And it refreshes the page and as you can see it's been uploaded already. So if you're writing directly into the software, um, it's not actually a problem. You just write it in, click save file, check your website's fine press F5 to refresh it and then you'll be able to see what's currently on the website now it becomes more complicated if you're copying it from a website or another software system I'm going to use Hotspur, res Hotspur Residentials text as an example now if I'm going to copy this text here there's hidden scripts within this text so it's telling it the colour, the size how um, bold, if it's bold, if it's not and it's all hidden within the text now if I copy that, I might actually copy those um, those styles across as well. So it might actually copy this black text style. So if I was to copy that straight into the software, it might just might make the text black. And again on my site, you wouldn't really be able to see the text because there's a code telling that text to be white. So what you need to do, if you are copying it from a website, you need to place it to a software called Notepad or WordPad. You'll have this on your computer already. So you just copy it, so you can select your text, just right click, copy, and then go down to open up Notepad or WordPad, and then just, you can either right click again or press edit, and then paste. And then again, it's into this software here, as you can see. Now this is a basic text document, so it gets rid of all the hidden scripts, so there no, the, none of the scripts get copied across. So again, you select all the text you either right click copy or you can go edit copy which other one you like to do and then just go back to the software I'm just going to minimize these so I've gone back to the software I've deleted the old text just select the old text press backspace and then I clip on that paste button that's just here you can see that little paste button so it's a little clipboard so just click and there we go it's into the software again I press save file I go back to the website Again, it's so far saying AP property, AP to property. If I press F5, and it said it's changed it again. We are, we are. As you notice, though, there's a space issue there. So all you need to do is go back to the software, click on we. It says there's a space there, but it isn't. If you just bring that back, and then just press enter. So it's neat, um, neatly spaced. Save file. Go back. Press F5. And there, the space is correct. And always check your website to make sure they're happy with the spacing, the way it looks. Now, if you're copying it from, say, Microsoft Word, 
it's the same process again. So, for example, I have Microsoft Word here document. This is the text I would like into my like in my in my site. So again, I'd copy it. This is for any any software system that you're copying from. Um, so it could be Microsoft Word, it could be Rentman, it could be anything along those lines. It could be off off the internet, anything. Always go through Notepad unless you're writing it directly into the software. So reselect text. Again, copy, or you can use that button there. Into, uh, into Notepad or WordPad, depending on what operating system you have. Edit, paste. So I'm going to drop that back. And then recopy it. Reselect it, sorry. Recopy it, and then back into the software again. Remove the old. And paste in the new. It's using the button at the top here. Paste. And then again, just press save file. And then if we go back to our website, let's minimize all these again. Oh. Minimize that one and that one. Go back to my website. And then again, press F5 because it's reading the old uh, temporary internet file. And there we go again. It's changed it pretty much instantly because text files are uh, small files and the spacing is correct because we've taken away the hidden code. So there's no hidden code. So always, always, always use Microsoft um, Microsoft Notepad or WordPad just to get rid of the hidden script. Now I'm going to use this as an example. We're going to go through some of the functions in the text editor. So for example, if I wanted to change this text here into a different style, um, you just let's change the whole lot. In fact, so I select all of it. I would like to. Uh, so it's just this this arrow here. Um, you've only got a few options because they all have they all have to be web safe. Um, they all have to be web safe fonts um, because otherwise you can't guarantee how it will look on other computers, and that means that all computers um, that have, should be able to view the website should have these fonts. So, for example, I'm going to change it to this one here, and then I'm going to re-change the size. So that's your that's your text style, and this is your size. So I'm going to make that say 20. So I've changed that. Again, I'd like to change the color of here. So this is your color. I'm going to make it red. And then this one here is your bold. So I'm going to bold that up. The next one is italics. Just click. So you've got to select the area that you want and then click. And then underline. Um, this one here is your hyperlinks. We we'll go through that in another uh, tutorial, so it'd be called hyperlinking your text or uh, something along those lines. And um, so we we'll come back to that. Um, and again, if you reselect your text, make sure that is all selected. You've got your text alignment as well, so you can make it central, justified, or to the right. So I'm going to make that central. Um, this arrow here is actually if you make a mistake, so you can go back as well. So you go, oh no, that's right. There we go. Or you can go forward. No, oh, that's right. So they're just taking it back and forward. So if you make any mistakes, so again, I'm going to reselect my text for the next example. This here with the scissors is a cut option. So I've cut that out. And then once again, I can paste it back using the paste button, as you can see. So I just drop that back up again. Again, if I reselect this. And I would like to copy it. It's just this button here with the two uh, bits of paper, so that's copied. And then what I'll do is I'll drop that down a line, and I'll just paste it back in using the paste button, like so. Again, just make sure it's all lined up uh, neatly. Um, your next one here is your find. So find certain words, and your so that's your torch. That's your find, and then your um, the little button where it's got A and then there's an arrow to B. What you normally do is you'd select a bit of text, press A and B, and then um, you can replace that word. So if I just put, let's put AP net salt, okay, and you can press replace, it will actually change that word. And you can actually replace all, we can find the next word that is actually the word notepad. Um, this function here to this function here. So all these squares and dotted lines are tables. I'll cover that in another tutorial because they can be a bit tricky and a bit of a headache. So we we put that in a, a separate tutorial. Um, and the second one, if I press enter, this one here is bullet points. 
So you just click on that, place it in the bullet points, type your bullet point in. Oh, freaking spell. And then just press enter to make the next bullet point. As you can see. Now to remove a bullet point, if, for example, you press enter and you don't want that bullet point there because you've, you've finished with uh, creating bullet points. Just click on the bullet point again, uh, bullet point button at the top here, and then it's gone. And then same again with the numbers. These are number points. So just type it in. Again, if I press enter, I don't need number four. So I just click a click the button and it takes it away. And then once you've finished with um, playing around with all that, so if you do copy a text document in with dashes, you can place them into bullet points. Um, and again, or number lines. So I'm just going to remove that back up. And and then once I've changed all the text, I just click um, save file, like so. And let's just go back to my website. Once again, it's reading uh, an old temporary, uh, temporary internet file. Just press F5 on the keyboard, and there we have it. It's made all the changes that we've uh, we've made in the software, and it's pretty instant. Um, so that is how you do. Um, that's the basic text editor. I'm going to cover the tables. That's from here to here in another tutorial and I'll cover hyperlinks because it's slightly more complicated than just typing in text so if you are copying any text from Microsoft Word or a website or any software system make sure you put it through notepad first um, to get rid of the hidden scripts because it can um, can uh, really uh, copy these scripts across that can mess your site up um, it's the same um, for any of these pages so you can do your landlord's page, or your tenant's page, or um, if you are wanting to copy scripts for um, different areas of the uh, the property, so if I close that, and you want to do it for the long description, make sure again, if you're copying it from a website or another software system, using your notepad. And the same again for um, your overview so this again as well so make sure again if you're copying it off a software system or through Microsoft Word or from a website anything like that once again through Notepad or WordPad so there's no hidden scripts across so your site looks um, the way it should look um, so I hope that helps and uh, thanks for listening